that. Um, is this the Ginger Dog Corporation? I saw your job advertise uh, outside. I'd, I'd like to apply for it, please. Of course. What skills and qualifications can you offer us? Yeah, I've got a C in drama. I've got, uh, let's see now, an A star in English, uh, an A star in history. Uh, I've got. I don't mean your GCSE grades. I mean, can you offer us any skills and qualifications that you would have gained from a job similar to the one that you were applying to? Of course, to have gained that job, you would have had to have demonstrated any skills and qualifications that you would have gained that you would have gained prior to applying to that job. At the very least, we would expect you to have done voluntary work or gained extra learning, uh, which would have involved you having no social life whatsoever, had barely any sleep, and have gained extra, and be able to still do very well at your GCSEs or other qualifications that you were going for. Uh... So as that scenario shows, we can sometimes think that grades are not important. Employers would rather you have skills and experience. Uh, that seems to be the case a lot of the time. Of course, it's quite hard to get those skills and experience without having done the job that you're applying for. Uh, sometimes when we move from GCSEs to A-levels, it can feel like when you're in A-levels that GCSEs no longer matter. But in God's eyes, your grades are important. Here's why. Firstly, God cares about your whole life. You might remember in our relationships video we did last week, which you can check out on our YouTube channel, uh, I talked about how a relationship is important in your life. Well, it's the same with exams. Exams are important in your life. And God wants to be at the center of that. God wants to be at the center of our whole lives and involved in everything that's going on. And that includes exams. Secondly, God can use you and your grades in living for him. God can use the, the exams to help in your grades to help you grow closer to him through the experiences of you doing exams and you learning more about the world we live in. Also, as you do exams, you gain other skills. Uh, for example, resilience in dealing with lots of exams and organisation as you organise your time. Those things are so valuable in our lives and indeed in serving God in whatever way that may be. But also, the fact that you do your best pleases God. Uh, even if it's not the grade you were hoping for, that's not worthless to God. And God uses the, your best to serve him. In the Bible, God uses individuals to bring about his will. I'm going to use the example of David again because he's kind of cool. You might know David more as the famous king of Israel in the Bible. But what you might not know is that before he was king, he was a shepherd boy. He also had a grade in music. I don't know what grade, but he could play an instrument called the lyre. And God used his things that David had as part of his will. David played the lyre to help King Saul be able to rest. David's skills as a shepherd helped him when fighting a giant massive warrior called Goliath. You see, God didn't choose a king to be a king. He took what David had as a shepherd and as a musician, and he transformed David into a king. Those, those little details that we think might not matter, they do matter to God and God can use them. It's the same with our grades. The, the, the exams we do, the topics and subjects that we enjoy doing, God can use that in serving him. Your grades do matter. So in response, bring your exams to God. You know, pray to God, just simply pray to God, Lord, help me in these exams to do my best and may you be glorified. God loves it when we bring to him the things that are good, the things in our lives.